Hello and welcome to this video about a brand new feature of the ABAP development tools for Eclipse called the ABAP Source Search. The ABAP Source Search is available via the standard Eclipse search dialog, which you can open up either via the toolbar or via the standard shortcut Control H. Um, if you open up this dialog and can't see the ABAP Source Search tab at the very beginning, maybe you simply need to enable it. For that purpose, just open the Customize dialog, select the ABAP Source Search entry, maybe unselect other ones, press OK, and you're done. In this tab, now uh, you have several options, of course, and the most important one uh, is the search term. Here you simply uh, can enter uh, a single search term you are looking for or several ones. Um, there's also um, a tiny little information icon here, which guides you a little bit through the options you currently have. Uh, so uh, under normal circumstances, um, you simply want to enter your search terms um, without any annotations. In this case, uh, they are considered as AND operators. So each and every search term you're looking for needs to be there in a certain uh, source code area, so a program, a class, or something like that. However, you might also want to choose an OR, so um, only one of uh, the search terms you are entering should be there in one particular source code object. And in addition to that, you can choose quotation marks um, if you want to uh, have it handled as a string or a minus uh, if you want to uh, just uh, restrict the search term in a way that a particular search term must not be in the result. Um, in addition to that, you can uh, restrict the maximum number of results. As a default, we always have 100 results here. Uh, however, you can, of course, uh, choose to have less than that or more than that. And as a last one, you need uh, to enter a project. And again, of course, we choose um, a valid one for you as a default. However, of course, you can change it here. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, start with a search term. Um, maybe with uh, a certain to-do. So we want to check which to-dos are there in your ABAP code base. So I enter to-do and press the search button. As you can imagine, there are more than 100 results for to-do uh, in an entire ABAP code base of a development system. However, we can just have a look uh, at the first result. Um, just try to navigate to it. And as you can see, we are directly inside the include and of course, directly on the line where the to-do was found. So there's no need to use uh, the search functionality of an editor or something similar in order to get to the result anymore. However, to do is not that interesting, so uh, maybe we continue with another search term or with other search terms. So as a colleague told me, um, the search terms fix me um, and clarify are also pretty interesting for um, the analysis of um, a certain ABAP code base on things that needs to be done or clarified. Uh, in this particular example, we choose uh, the OR operator. So um, either fix me or clarify might be in the results so that they are listed. So let's try that. Press search. And um, immediately we get the results. Again, we have more than 100 matches on the database. Um, but um, that's not the big deal. We simply take a look at the first 100. And as you can see, we get the results both for fix me and for clarify. However, um, this is not the one I was looking for. I was actually looking for an include, for a class, for anything where both fix me and to do or clarify is occurring. So um, maybe 
uh, I remove the or and uh, yeah let's say I stick with fix me and I stick with clarify and uh, execute the search again and as you can see here um, we only get one single result uh, where both clarify and fix me are occurring. So as you could see uh, there are quite a lot of opportunities you have now uh, when you want to search uh, the code base and uh, I would just like to encourage you to use the new ABAP source search in your development system in order to find things you have not able to find before. Thank you very much for your attention and goodbye.